Today, we start with Tesla and its brand new Cybertruck. You already know that the mass production of these pickups started just a few months ago, and there aren't many owners yet. Despite their small number, some have already started complaining that the vehicle, made of stainless steel, ah darn it, is rusting! And all this without needing to submerge it in the sea or the tears of the owners. Just ordinary rain is enough. This issue was raised by users of a forum called CybertruckOwnersClub.com. A user with the nickname Raxar started a thread complaining that soon after he received his new Cybertruck, the vehicle sat in the rain for two days. And that was enough for small rust spots to appear on the body. And many owners are complaining about such rust. Other owners have also shared their stories. Forum users decided to document this and bring it to Tesla's attention. And guess what it turned out? It turns out the Cyber Cybertruck user manual explicitly states that the body panels of the vehicle, made from stainless steel, can undergo corrosion under certain circumstances, in our case, simple rain. To prevent this, the manual recommends immediately removing substances such as grease, oil, bird droppings, tree sap, virgin blood, dead insects, sap, and road salt from the body. Of course, we joked about the sap, nothing is said about it. Nonetheless, although no vehicle is completely resistant to corrosion, the speed at which Cybertruck owners encountered rust is notable, especially since they live in California. In the northern U.S., where road salting is practiced in winter, this could be a big problem for owners of the rusting pickup. And now OpenAI has introduced a simply indecently magnificent new video generation model called Sora. It allows users to create photorealistic video clips up to a minute long based on text prompts. Sora can create complex scenes with multiple characters, intricate camera movements, and precise object and background details. The model understands how objects exist in the physical world and accurately interprets props and creates convincing characters with vivid emotions. The model can generate videos based on a still image, as well as fill in missing frames of an existing video or extend it. For example, Sora generated historical footage of California during the gold rush, a video inside a Tokyo train, a cartoon dancing rabbit, and much more. Companies like Runway and Pika have demonstrated their own AI models, with Google Lumiere considered one of OpenAI's main competitors in this area. But there's a huge but. Sora's video examples stand out for their resolution clarity, smooth motion, anatomical accuracy, and physical world precision, and most importantly, duration. 60 seconds. For comparison, Runway and Pika offer just four seconds of generation at a time with the possibility of extension. For now, Sora is available only to so-called red teams that assess the model for potential harm and risks. OpenAI also offers access to some artists, designers, and filmmakers for feedback. But the news from OpenAI doesn't end there. They are creating their search engine, which will end Google's hegemony. In March 2023, a plugin for searching information on the internet appeared. And in September, OpenAI announced that ChatGPT had gained the ability to search the net for the freshest information. But then, as a browser, the chatbot used Bing, Microsoft's search engine, which has long and unsuccessfully tried to catch up with Google Chrome. So now, OpenAI, with the support of Microsoft, plans to deprive Google of its market share of search products. The new search engine will partially run on the Bing engine, which aligns with Microsoft's plans for active promotion of its products supported by generative AI. For the company, this is a great opportunity to win back some users from the main competitor. But the good corporation is also not sleeping and is working on generative search with AI and plans to implement the Search Generative Experiences tool. However, the appearance of a completely new indexing system, which OpenAI is working on, would be more revolutionary. We will follow how events unfold and how this battle of titans ends. And you, subscribe and hit the ding ding so as not to miss the most important important events from the world of tech. Let's move on. Lian Li showcased the prototype of the DK07 computer desk with an integrated system unit at its 2024 Digital Expo Digital Exhibition. It is designed for two eATX motherboards, but that's not its main feature. The central part of the DK07 table is covered with smart glass 8mm thick, which can become transparent or matte at the push of a button. Under the glass, there is a 30-inch transparent OLED screen from LG. It can be used as a second monitor. On the right side of the table, under a cover, there is a niche with drawers for various small items like batteries, various charging cables, etc. On the left side of the DK07, there is an integrated retractable USB hub with numerous ports, wireless charging, and a full-fledged socket. There is also an integrated cup holder with a cooling function. The manufacturer claims the DK07 supports video cards up to four expansion slots thick and up to 340 millimeters long. Inside the table, there are also four places for 3.5-inch or 2.5-inch drives. The Chinese have not yet said when this fairy tale will go on on sale and how much it will cost. But given all its features, we don't think the DK07 will be cheap. The company is currently collecting feedback and suggestions on the novelty. 
tech blogger Luke Miani created, in his opinion, a new and unique device for the Cupertino folks. With a screwdriver and simple manipulations, he made a gadget with the amazing Apple name VisionBook Air Max Ultra. He took a 15-inch MacBook Air based on the M2 chip from 2022 and removed the top cover with the screen. The process is not complicated. You just need to remove the bottom cover, which is done without any problems, and then disconnect the display cable and unscrew one hinge on each side. As a result, he got a thin keyboard with a trackpad. Then our tech maniac turned on what was left of the MacBook, and it turned out that the Vision Pro headset recognized it. Moreover, a notification about the possibility of connecting to the laptop appeared above the supposed screen. After synchronization, a virtual MacBook screen appeared in the headset, which can be moved and resized at will. Realizing the magnificence of the idea, the blogger made a promotional insert at the end of the video, offering to purchase the VisionBook Air Max Ultra. Tim Cook, it's your move! Meanwhile, Sony and Honda, namely Sony Honda Mobility, a joint automotive venture, are preparing three new cars. In addition to the previously announced electric sedan Afila, which will appear in 2025, Sony Honda Mobility will release a crossover in 2027 and a less expensive compact model in 2028 or later. All three cars will be built on the same platform. The compact model from Sony Honda Mobility is expected to use the same components as Honda's own electric vehicles to reduce prices. The company presented the concept sedan at the CES exhibition before before launching the production model in 2026. The Afila sedan, appearing in 2025, will use front and rear electric motors with 241 HP each. The car is equipped with a 91.0 KW lithium-ion battery. The pre-production model received 45 sensors, including LiDAR and 8 cameras. Qualcomm chips are expected to provide computing power to support level 3 autonomous driving, which means that a person will still have to take control from time to time. Inside, almost the entire dashboard is occupied by a screen. Sony intends to provide access to its vast library of movies, as well as the ability to play on this screen. Chrysler decided to boast a concept electric car with unlimited wireless charging. The conceptual electric vehicle named Halcyon was presented by the American company Stellantis, owner of the Chrysler brand. Let's say right away such a promise, directly unlimited range, arouses skepticism, although theoretically it is feasible, if ever most highways have wireless charging infrastructure. So far in the States, it is only available on a short stretch of road in Detroit. As an electric platform, Stellantis decided to use the same STLA large platform, which will appear in large electric vehicles of the company's Dodge and Jeep brands. And the Stone Go technology, which is already used in Chrysler minivans, allows here to move or fold seats for more convenience or capacity. Important information, speed, charge level, is displayed on the windshield using augmented reality technology. In addition to the display across the width of the dashboard, there is also an IPS screen with a diagonal of 15.6 inches. And what's kick without space? On February 14th, due to problems with methane fuel in the Nova Sea Odysseus lunar module, SpaceX was forced to postpone the flight to the moon. The launch of the Falcon 9 rocket with the lunar module made by Intuitive Machines took place this Friday and was successful. Falcon 9 launched from the John F. Kennedy Space Center. The landing of the Nova Sea module, weighing 1.9 tons and the size of a phone booth, will take place on February 22nd. If the event is successful, the mission will reactivate the paused lunar question in the USA. Moreover, the apparatus will become the first commercial project to reach the surface of the Earth's satellite. To date, only government and very expensive space devices have visited the Moon. It's worth noting that the last US spacecraft visited the Moon more than 50 years ago, in 1972. As for Nova C, the module is equipped with the most modern equipment, including an engine that runs on a mixture of liquid oxygen and methane. The main goal of the mission is to deliver various useful loads to the south pole of the Moon, including NASA tools. The next launch of the lunar module, Odysseus by Intuitive Machines is scheduled for March this year. It will be equipped with a drill for extracting ice from the moon's surface. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to not miss a fresh portion of handpicked news. Goodbye.